Hey everyone, JC here. I'm here at lovely Monroeville Park, uh, getting outside to have a little fun in these crazy times. Uh, I am actually here to rip off an idea from a much better disc golfer. We'll post their link uh, in the description. Uh, Simon Lazat did a video recently on how many mulligans does it take to shoot a perfect round on some course. And I've played Monroeville Park uh, more than any other course. So I'd like to see how many how many mulligans it takes for me to shoot a perfect round. So nine under, it's a nine hole course. I'm expecting it will be quite a few. Um, full disclosure, I did get a practice seven holes in. It was not, not an auspicious start. Uh, so expect some high numbers. Uh, the rest of this commentary will be done by my future self in the comfort of my office. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Evening everyone, future JC here, ready to commentate on this experiment. So I'd like to start off with two excuses and one thought. Uh, excuse one, I hadn't, I think I'd only played two rounds since December. So feeling a little rusty. And two, this is the first time that I've filmed myself playing certainly the first time that I've filmed myself playing with the intention of posting it. So perhaps a couple of nerves, you know, I, I could just suck. That's a possibility. And a thought, just to keep in mind as you're watching, I've shot a 23 here before. That's a pretty good score. So I'm not awful all the time. But with that, let's get into it. This is going to be a painful viewing experience. I recommend a tasty beverage uh, to help you get through it. Uh, trust me when I say, though, that as painful as it's going to be for you to watch, it was way worse for me to live. Uh, with that, off we go. So hole number one, 178 feet. Yeah, this is one you want to get. You know, you just turn something over. Uh, you know, typically an easy... Easy bird. Today is not going to be a typical day. And you can see here, there's no confidence in these putts. They're just way too gingerly. You know, barely lifting my back leg. Like, if there's just... It's too timid. Totally illegal. And at this point, I'm already thinking, I'm like, oh man, I should just, I shouldn't be attempting this. But I started it, took out all the camera gear, decided, what the heck, keep going. All right, finally, finally getting into the swing. Hole two, 174 feet, definitely must get birdie. Sorry for the framing. So that fine drive, a little shorter than you want to be, but well within range. You would think. At least I didn't leave it short, I suppose. So not the start that I wanted, certainly. And now we're going into hole three, 378 feet. And this is one going into it that I knew was going to be tough. Uh, you idiot. So you've got a narrow fairway. It's the longest hole on the course. And, you know, I'm not like a power thrower. So I was expecting some high numbers here. And you don't want to be over there. You want to throw to the left side of the fairway, let something flex a little bit, and then fade back so you get that full flight, and that allows you to get up to the disc, or to the basket. And I'm just not, I'm not hitting that, that line. Had to let some people play through, plus go collect my, my drivers, because I was out of, essentially out of them. 
this shot looked decent, but again, too too tight to the right side. So just never had a chance to not get tied up. to be said here, um, well, especially of that, uh, wow. So now, I mean, that's a fairway driver, so now I'm digging into the bag way further than I should be. I mean, you can throw a fairway driver that far, obviously, but, and then I pick out a Stratus, I can't throw a Stratus 350 feet, just retarded. It's like wardrobe change, we're back. Finally, get the flight that I'm looking for. That was my dynamic disc captain, favorite driver. There she is. Longer putt, but I mean, this is basically the best look I'm ever going to get at this basket. Go that I thought, am I gonna get this on the first try? I mean, a natural birdie on. Oh, that wouldn't have been a natural birdie. Ah, eh, never mind. That was an ugly putt. Very happy to get that on the second attempt. And here, I'm just throwing a putter. You know, hole four. It's short, but you, you know, the basket's down a little hill. I mean, it's a good, it's a good placement shot. You know, take some touch that I did not demonstrate there. And this, let it go a little little bit too far left. And that one, I mean, letting it way too, too early. So as I was letting those folks play through, I came down, you know, was waiting on them, came down to retrieve my discs. I'm taking my second shot. That may technically be cheating since I did throw the third, but I'm not 100% sure I wasn't cheating already earlier. So I'm rolling with it. So one mulligan for this hole. You know, sometimes you're just not proud of your past behavior. see me laughing at myself. Obviously when I got up there, first I thought I can make the putt from where number two's uh, disc landed because my putting's been fantastic thus far so I should I would have every reason to think that. I, yeah. Bad decision making clearly. That may have been some instant karma. So my third drive was actually 15 feet closer to the basket. So I should have just taken that. Because that probably would have been only two mulligans for the hole instead of whatever god awful number I just took there. Hindsight. Hole five, 351 feet. Another one I knew was going to be a challenge. Uh, even more so today, it, you can't, it doesn't look like it, but you can hear the wind uh, in the microphone. It's not a lot of wind, but it's there, and it is a headwind, so I'm throwing 350 feet uphill into a slight headwind. 
I honestly didn't think I was actually going to get this anywhere near the basket on any drive. And you can tell I'm rubbing my hands. I'm cold and I have I now have my vest back on. I had to wait for those I had to wait for two groups to play through at the whole forest tea box. Pretty chilly, it's only 39 degrees out. Finally get another good shot off here. With my captain, nonetheless. We're taking it. And I I left this portion in so that you can see that I'm not lying about the wind. There's a flag up on this basket that actually got blown off. You can see it earlier in the video. So it was windy. And you can see this is a long putt, I don't know, 50 feet, I'm not sure. On that first putt, I honestly thought, oh crap, am I going to make this on the first try? No, no I am not. And now I'm... Thrown a few okay looking putts, but mostly they're nowhere near the basket. Like that. What? You're not even tryharding. What are you doing? This is so, so frustrating to watch. That wasn't even a good layup. I mean, I was still going to have to putt that. Forgot about my secret weapon. Love the Atom, my favorite putter. So close to greatness. Pull out the secret weapon from the bag, sink it, that would have been great. Obviously, uh, we're still here, though. That was terrible. Oh, this is just astonishing. of hope. Thank goodness. Indeed. 63 mulligans against my hole. And this drive, that's almost as perfect as I can throw it. Of course, it gets hung up on a low hanging branch. And my putting's been fantastic, so I decided to take this. I mean, this is what, 30, uh, 40-ish feet? Yeah, somewhere in there. Things are not looking good. And at this point, you kind of see... Oh, what the fuck? My putting almost just looks like a rote at this point. Like, I'm not really... Not really into it. Like, I'm just kind of on repeat. And that's not a good place to be when you're doing something like this. Like, you need to be actually trying on every single throw.
again. Sorry about the framing. Hole seven. I have never, this is the one hole on the course I have never birdied. So I was expecting that this hole would be my highest mulligan count if I got it at all, uh, which I was definitely not confident about. And then I throw, pretty sure, it's, it's a captain. I think it's my lucid air though, not, not the burst that I was throwing. And I throw like the greatest drive I've ever thrown on this hole. After, on my third try, or fourth try. So, needless to say, I was shocked. Absolutely shocked. Unfortunately, you do still have to putt these holes out. So had you told me going into this that hole 7 was going to be one of the lowest mulligan counts of the day, no way, no way would I have, wouldn't have believed you had you come from the future. Hole 8, uh, 286, another must, this is like hole number 2, must get birdied. For some insane reason, that drive gets caught up on a branch. That's not the insane part. The insane part is what I then do, which is take that drive. Why? I mean, what? I mean, yes, sure, my putting was okay on hole seven. Aside from that, it's been atrocious, and I decide, yeah, 40, 45 feet. Let's do it. I mean, I did get metal on the first try. That's something. I must say, my putting is looking a lot better. I mean, at least I am hitting the basket. That was terrible. Some of these are not completely egregious. Uh, but yeah. Hole 8. Who would have thought? Alright, moving on. Hole 9. 262 feet. Not one you really expect to bury because it's tucked into the woods. Definitely bury a bull, though. been over there in years. So everything up to now and then doing that, I, I, I just want off the course. I am mentally basically done with this experiment. Not tremendously happy with this drive. Too high, you know, too far, you know, too early. It's gonna be ugly. You really want straight and low down the fairway. I mean, this isn't a terrible look, but you would prefer to not be in the bramble. And, and you can see, yeah, stance is not fantastic. Billy probably should have put a marker down just to get that extra eight inches. And you can see I'm not moving, not moving my back leg. This is basically all upper body. And I'm throwing them short, so not getting the power. I mean, that was that was like 18 inches short, or yeah, low. Just horrible because this is not a long putt. What is this 25? I don't know, um, 25, 30. So that was a humbling and very, very disappointing experience. Um, 
So when I made the putt here, I got back up to my camera, there was a message that read battery exhausted and it shut off. I have no idea if the final putt made it on there. I did make it on the first try after retrieving those putters, mercifully. Um, yeah, I'm disgusted. I don't even want to post this. But that would, wouldn't demonstrate much integrity. So I am going to post it as embarrassing as it will be. What can be said? I, on a positive note, I really did get up the, the camera battery, and I only have one battery, did last about 15 seconds or less beyond my final putt. So thank you, camera, for, uh, for putting in the effort to last the entire, the entire round there. Um, yeah, the only thing to be said about that, it, it was awful. Uh, I definitely demonstrated some serious incompetence on the putting green and some definitely some mental errors like you know number four uh not taking the third drive that was closer number uh six shouldn't have taken that drive number eight i mean my goodness so yeah serious errors occurred um i think all that's left to be said is that it is early in the season, I'm out of practice, and I am going to attempt this exact same experiment again in, I don't know, August, August, September, end of season, and we'll see if I improve. I, if I do not, I think that is a sign uh, that I should give up the sport. Uh, well, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.